Hey guys, what's up? It's Elise from thecrunchyginger.com and welcome to my channel. Here you'll find tips and tricks and DIYs to help you live a little greener and save a little money. So if that sounds like something you're into, I would love it if you would subscribe so that we can stay in touch. So today's recipe is going to be a homemade lavender sleep balm. This smells amazing and if you or your little ones have any trouble falling asleep or staying asleep or need just a little bit of help relaxing or even throughout the day even if it's not to go to sleep this is amazing and it's going to be safe for everybody in your family because we are going to use the proper delusion for children and i'll share with you what that is lavender is an essential oil that is considered safe for most people that being said little disclaimer, I am not a doctor, so if you have any concern about whether this is appropriate for you or appropriate for your kids, just check with your healthcare provider. Um, so let's dive right in. This recipe is only gonna call for a few ingredients. Um, I have got some beeswax, some organic virgin coconut oil. I'm gonna use jojoba oil, but you could use any other carrier oil of your choice, olive oil or grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil. Um, apricot oil, any of those sorts of liquid carrier oils would be great here. Um, a little bit of vitamin E oil and of course our lavender. You'll need some kind of container to put it in and I've got this little Trader Joe's ginger mints tin that I'm going to be making mine in. Um, I used quite a few of these ginger mints during my pregnancies and they were kind of a lifesaver. Um, but I got this little tin left over so I'm going to fill this and this will be great to hold our balm. Um, let's get started. So we are going to need a double boiler or a pot like this filled with a couple inches of water. I've already got this on. It's sort of a simmer here heating up and some kind of heat proof bowl to set on top if you don't have a double boiler. Um, I've got this little stainless steel bowl that I just reserve for my DIY beauty care, body care recipes. So we are going to use about a teaspoon of beeswax. So I'm gonna leave all of this in the description below so that you can scale this for your size container, but this is gonna be what's gonna fit in this here. So I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of beeswax. It's gonna be about um, three to four grams. I measured all mine by weight. I think it's a little bit easier than trying to get some of these um, oils and butters and stuff in and out of teaspoons and tablespoons. But if you don't have a scale, um, a little kitchen scale like this guy, you can totally measure it with measuring spoons and I'll leave that down in the description below. So I'll put these guys in first. We're going to want these to get started melting. And I use these pellets because I think they they just melt faster and they're easier to, to work with. Um, I have got 14 grams, which is about a tablespoon of coconut oil. This is the solid coconut oil, the kind that you buy at the grocery store that you use for cooking. It's excellent for body care. It's really good for your skin. I'm going to get these melting together. And the last thing I'm going to add is my carrier oil. This, like I said, is jojoba oil. Um, it's just my favorite one. I've always got it around, so I usually use it and stuff. Again, it's about a tablespoon. Uh, it's about a tablespoon. Uh, this is 11 grams if you're going to measure it, but you could use olive oil or grapeseed or whatever you want. So we'll just get this melted in here together until all of our ingredients are combined. Okay, so we have it all melted together here. So now what we're gonna do, go ahead and cut the heat, and I'm gonna take this off. Mine isn't too hot, but you might wanna use an oven mitt. And I'm gonna set it on a, um, like a dish rag. That way I can wipe off some of this water from the bottom, because we don't want any of that water to accidentally get into our Balm. So now at this point we can add our vitamin E oil and our lavender oil. We want to wait till it's off the heat to add that stuff. So for the vitamin E, I'm not really going to measure this. A um, couple of drops should do you. Um, maybe about an eighth of a teaspoon or so. The vitamin E oil is um, an antioxidant, so it isn't a preservative per se, but it will help prevent your, um, your oil based recipes from going rancid as quick, so the shelf life will be longer. That said, this is all oil, so the shelf life is gonna be quite long anyway. I would say, based on the freshness of your ingredients, at least six months or a year or so. So I've got that in there, and now for this, um, for this size batch, 
we are going to use about four drops of lavender oil and it doesn't sound like a lot but we're looking for a 0.5 to a 1 percent dilution of our essential oil that will keep it safe for kids so that's a safe dilution for babies about three months of age um, to under two years old um, so if you are um, if you've got older kids you you can go for maybe the one percent dilution but i'm going to use four drops one two, three, four, and I will leave a, um, I'll leave a chart, a link to a chart below. Oop, and mine is melting really quick, so I'm actually gonna pop this on my heat really fast. I, I talked too much and my, my bomb started to solidify on me. So you can, um, you can always just stick it back on the heat really quick if that happens to you. Okay, so now I'm going to pour it into my tin. I've got my little ginger mints tin here, but you could use any container. Just right in here like that. And it's gonna solidify pretty quick. You saw it was already starting to go just as I was talking there, because mine isn't super heated. There we go. And so you'll just leave it on the counter like that until it, um, until it solidifies. And if you're impatient like me, you can also just pop it in the refrigerator. It'll, it'll firm up pretty fast. Super simple, non-toxic, all natural, safe for everybody in your family, lavender sleep balm. I think you're really going to like this. To use this, all you need to do is put a little bit on your kid's feet, rub a little bit on their chest, maybe on their back. If you use it for yourself, in a moment of stress, just rub a little on your temples. Sometimes I even just put some like right underneath my nose and like breathe deeply in a moment of stress. Um, we've been using this in our kids' bedtime routine and I think that it's helping. I think it's helping them stay asleep a little bit longer, especially for that first stretch of the night where they often are like waking up a lot. Um, give this a try. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to do my best to try to answer them. Leave it below in the comments. Um, if you want more tips and tricks to live a little greener and save a little money, head on over to thecrunchyginger.com. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm on Facebook at The Crunchy Ginger. Please subscribe. I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for watching.